sister proof on us. Mm -hmm. Father, we're grateful to be together here today. Mm. Certainly grateful for this community. Mm. I am pretty honored to be sitting just amongst these particular brother and sister. Mm. Uh, I just feel like it's a kindness that you've given me to observe and pray for and just be in a relationship with those who honor you and love you. Honestly, it's blessing my heart and showing me love that I could sit with these two particular people and almost just like <laughs> be an audience to their affection for you. Mm. That's what it feels like. It feels like they see you in a way that's so beautiful. And I get to watch. And I get to glean. And I get to take from and receive from. And so for that, Lord, I am grateful because it just, mm. it's another way that you show me your heart for me. Mm. And I really want to honor that. And I really want to let you know how grateful I am for that. Father, and I do hope to offer you in return as well. Mm -hmm. I just thank you that you are willing to speak through each one of us. And so mm -hmm. you have provided this opportunity and we are well aware and we are grateful and ready to receive. Mm -hmm. And pray this in your name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Well, I took over last night. I took over this morning. So, so you're not ready to take over anymore. I'm not taking over anymore. So I'm I'm down. So you gotta tell me. So you take it over. So I'm teasing. Yeah. I had a good time with the the young gentleman, Elijah and uh, Asia gave me a ride. So cool something. As uh, Elijah especially interesting learning to cook. So I teach him a little bit stir fry. Yes. Share the mind a little bit with my cooking skills. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So, yeah. It's good to enjoy the food. So, yeah. Wonderful young people. So, yeah. Well, that being said, so, that's all I got. So, yeah. <laughs> I will tell you that? yesterday from 7 o'clock till evening after 9 o'clock, almost a midnight. So, it's not stuff. So, yeah. So I'm not saying that I'm tired or anything. Just, kind of. You know, yeah, yeah. So I'm not talking. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I did a lot of praying as well. So mm -hmm. yeah. well, thank the Lord for what He's doing in our midst. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes go through things, go through seasons. But I want to hear you guys more. Kim, would you care to pray as well? So yeah. yeah. Lord, I agree with uh, my sister's prayer mm -hmm. and just how. How wonderful it is, Lord, to be under the guidance um, of others and just the way that you work <laughs> and the way that you speak. Um, never a time, Lord, when, when I don't honor this time and ask for your, your wisdom, Lord, to be to be made known by the way that we take these words that you give us mm. and um, and produce something that reproduces. <laughs> mm. Yes. Mm. Lord, I ask um, for your continuing refinement and purity of heart and mind and motives and all that's entangled in there, Lord. Mm. Um, I want to know you. We want to know you mm. like you know us. And so we're so grateful, Lord, for, mm. um, for discipleship and, and discipline and all that entails mm. and encouragement and building and all the ways that you work through your people. Mm. Lord, we ask for more of that. Um, I ask for clarity 
for how we relate to each other. Mm -hmm. And most of all, Lord, I stand here with my brothers and sisters, Lord, with our hands open Mm. to you um, and to be guided by your spirit. Mm. And so, Lord, we continue this time with great expectancy Mm. of what you have. Mm. We love you, Lord. Amen. 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 Okay, Lord, st- tell my sister what to say. So. <laughs> <laughs> my purse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, we we are talking about a lot of things. I don't know if you can, you know, things. remember anything that we're wanting to. Several times we were like, we want to ask Emmanuel this. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I should have taken notes. Yeah. Um, if I can, I into the conversation. We want you to. Yes. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. I'm just super grateful for discipleship, for sure. Mm. And, um, you know, wanting to honor what is taught and said mm. in more than just a listening ear, mm. and more than just a and not take it off and run with it and like, duty! Mm. You know, like, let's yeah. do it! Yeah, yeah. But really receive it in our spirit, man. Mm. And, um, so we just value <laughs> highly when you are teaching us. Mm. Like, I don't even start teaching you. You're talking about <laughs> you know, you start <laughs> teaching. <laughs> I'm talking no. in, in general. Okay. Um, don't be joking when I'm getting about to cry. Okay. <laughs> just joking. Just teasing. <laughs> um, no, but I. I we recognize, both of us recognize, um, the gift that the Lord offered us in in you and what you offer all of the community when you have, you know, mm. you took your testimony of your life and made it a living mm. testimony. Mm. Um, and so we're, we're sort of eating off of that, you know, that bread, that manna, and, and, mm. and it's very, very valuable mm. to us. Um, her and I are overthinkers a little bit, so mm. we tend to get, um, have to walk each other through the, the, t- what you're teaching us in the foundation of it. Cause you teach us so much wisdom and foundation here and we just feel like led and we also feel like, okay, now you go and do what you're supposed to do and, mm. um, just, and we're so encouraged by it. And mm. so when we are together, sometimes we go, okay, here's what we know to be true. Where are we getting in the way? <laughs> um, yeah. um, we're all getting in the way sometimes. And we kind of set each other back straight. Yeah. So that's mm. always super encouraging mm-hmm. that we're like, that we, mm. it's like a pendulum almost like get, get back mm. to, get mm. back yeah. to the center. Get yeah. To the center. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. No, I use the word called it. Campus. Compass. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the young people. Yeah, yeah. Come to the north. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's there's no question. I've not heard any questions. It's anyway. Com- 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 compliments. So, thank you for that. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> yeah. um, so I found myself actually, I was in a place pretty low just because, and not because of any disagreement at all that I have with anything that's being said. Every time Mm. I find myself under a teaching, I'm just like, yes, and amen to Mm. the Lord, because he's just so true. Mm. Um, But I feel like almost an imposter or almost, um, I don't know, like I, I don't because I am not, I don't grow or change at a pace I'm comfortable with. Mm-hmm. When I still see some things that I allow or whatever, not even allow, they're just still there. And I'm like, what are you doing here? Like, mm-hmm. so I, it, it tends to have a, 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 such a major effect on me to the point where I'm like, I feel like I am being disrespectful. Mm-hmm. I feel disrespectful mm-hmm. to leadership. And to those who the Lord has put in my life. And obviously to the Lord. Mm. Because I am hearing it. You, I am seeing it. You, you, you're not, you know, I'm, I'm, we're distant first 
in in terms of living situation so i'm not there if you said you disrespectful i don't feel it when we sit together you're always respectful unless you have some personal um struggles in your own quarter of life i don't, this, I don't uh, mean like disrespectful it. too like i've talked bad about you guys or disagree uh, yeah. it doesn't have anything to do with that it has sure. to do with the so. it feels disrespectful for me to hear truth and then be all that's great um, and then still like not moving forward in my own person yeah yeah, yeah. and so i'm like who am i this is gonna make me cry just so you guys are aware mm. like who am i mm. to have the joy and the beauty mm. Of the wisdom of God from from these people that the Lord gave me, mm. and then just be all that's really good, and then just sit and not move forward. Mm. And so, the overwhelming sense of not moving forward in something that you know to be true mm. uh, has really broken my heart this week. Mm. And um, and part of me is perfectly happy with it mm. in the sense that, again, my soul is not allowed to stay. Mm. In its old self. Place, it's, yeah. it's not allowed to. So praise mm. the Lord. Praise mm. the Lord that, that he mm. loves me enough to be like, you're not mm. staying in the same place. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to let you stop feeling this until you get up and move. So praise yeah. the Lord for that. Yeah. Um, but almost like, thank you. Mm. But I'm still here. <laughs> so mm. what I meant, I just, I don't want to dishonor what I'm being, sh- what I'm, what I'm being given. That's beautiful. In a way. Yeah. That's so, uh, and I feel like we talked about that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you guys share? Mm-hmm. I just meant like I shared my heart and she shared her oh, heart. We both yeah. kind of were like, yeah. ew, <laughs> about ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to speak for you. No, please. I mean, yeah. Mm. Our struggles are always a little bit mm. the same and a little bit not, but mm. a lot the same. So, a lot the same gave me um, perception. It's almost like I know things to be true, and I even somewhat feel like, feels not a good word. Uh, Honestly, I struggle in my daily life, Mm -hmm. um, mostly because my family isn't quite settled yet, Mm -hmm. and, and then, you know, my health brings in a whole nother level because I can't really be the kind of mom and a lot, a lot of me has to be in bed Mm -hmm. to just be able to be okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then I'm learning, you know, not to cast my pearls to swines Mm -hmm. and then Matt's being guided into Mm -hmm. how to start, you know, really taking the spiritual headship, but Mm -hmm. we're both, Working we're process. still working that yeah. out for mm-hmm. sure yeah. and um it's really the daily like my daily life yeah. i don't i don't feel like i am honoring the lord because i can't see or feel or whatever that yeah. anything's happening yeah. other than the settlement that i feel <laughs> mm-hmm. do you know that there's a lot of feeling in there and i get that yeah. um and I know that that it that the Lord is working out so much under the current, yep. right? Mm-hmm. So it's not like I don't understand that spiritual operation, mm-hmm. um, but at the same time, I still don't know what to do with my days. Mm. Like I don't know what that looks like on a day to day basis mm. because, you know, um, I'm I've kind of stopped with school and I've kind of. Mm. And, mm-hmm. and, and I'm being told this is an invitation. Mm-hmm. It's only an invitation and nobody wants something from me. What they want is a physical help on things, which I can't give them. Mm-hmm. So it's just a lot of empty space for me. Mm-hmm. A lot. Mm-hmm. Um, Normally you feel it was a interfacing with children to educate them. Yeah, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just kind of kept a tighter rein on things to make mm-hmm. sure things were getting done. And, mm-hmm. you know, a lo- like, and I'm not saying Matt and I have it together. No, no let me uh, qualify okay. before you move on there. Yeah. When you say, you feel that is honoring the Lord? 
I do. Uh, okay. I I'm do or to don't? Yeah, I don't understand. Your question, you guys concentrate am I in my daily life, whatever I struggle mm -hmm. in, is honoring God and not honoring the thing you see mm -hmm. from others that given to you by the Lord and mm -hmm. not. So, with the change of whatever going on, that uh, you obviously in family or other dynamic, I'm not sure you guys mm -hmm. have the similar situation, your situation. Mm -hmm. You've seen West children, talk to children a lot, so mm -hmm. that's changed a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, this loss you feel by yourself, basically. Mm -hmm. Now, by yourself, how you spend time, it's is not settled yet, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you feel that part is not honoring the Lord, right? So. I, I don't think it's not honoring okay. the Lord. I, I know yeah. you, that's my oh, point. Sorry. You talk about the similarity, I'll try to figure it out what the similarity <laughs> there. So, so you then we talk about the differences, right? So mm -hmm. there must be the same difference. So my question is uh, if that is not pertaining to honor the Lord or not, rather your life just. There's a gear shift, order shift, you know, so mm -hmm. the daily attitude shift, that different than the question is not about the order of the Lord, the question is how you spend your time effective in the Lord or not. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I'm, I, I think whether you're busy with your children or not busy with your children, it really doesn't make any difference in terms of whether you honor the Lord or not. So, but honor the Lord is about be beyond whether you're being busy or not busy mm -hmm. so yeah i try to identify when you guys see the word honor the lord what that means yeah. when i'm mm -hmm. trying to see what yeah. is the lord doing here yes okay. right yeah. it's producing a culture oh, producing and culture. Yeah. you know that takes relationship take relationship and yeah. my relationships are really not very there's not really many relationships for me wow oh. I, I do have yeah. I do have a couple okay. right but yeah. she lives far away and yeah. Yeah. I get together with Rachel you know once yeah. every other week yeah um and and there are texts and stuff back and forth but sure. it's just not the same as yeah. working life out hmm. with others I don't say how you work out uh, with others what that means so it means if I teach a subject in mm -hmm. the in the air with us in have attitude with, with others, that means spend time with others fruitfully. I try I mean, to define. It doesn't have to be that. that yeah, I'm trying to define what makes you unsettled. What makes me unsettled yeah. is that um, I just have have such a passion. To be, to do something. To, to be involved in something, yeah. To have relationships. Have to relationships. have real relationships. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. like. Mm -hmm. This kind of relationship is awesome. what I crave. Yeah. You know, we get together. Yeah. And there's not much flesh. Yeah. There's yeah, just yeah. not. Oh, I see. And yeah. I'm able to. Um, be yourself. Be myself. Your and, and my spirit man is yeah. able to be free. Oh, okay. And um, yeah. I just don't have that freedom mm -hmm. most of the time. Oh, and yeah. so I cherish these times oh, yeah, because yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, but the reality is that mm. my life is a whole bunch of pain oh. and a whole bunch of time alone mm. and I don't know what to do. Mm. And I know everybody's like, just rest, but it's mm. not cool being mm. in bed 20 hours a day. Mm. Like it's not, and it's always, it's not like I have the flu. Mm. And so this week I mm. have to mm. Mm. be that way. Yeah. And so I'm just... Mm. So how you think those time can be fulfilled? I mean, oh, I do it the best that I can. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it's, yeah. but it just feels like it's a lot more. I listen to all the meetings seems, online, and I oh, take wow, notes, yeah. and I that's go a lot back. to take in. So yeah. I love it, but oh, it wow. feels like it's just. Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere because mm -hmm. I don't relate with anybody. Mm -hmm. So when I get together with her, I'm like, <gasps> you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and Rachel and I are the same way, right? right? But that's it's just not very often. Oh, and wow. so okay. I just I write a you, whole you, bunch, but it's just for me. You you guys don't uh, regularly meet. You I mean, we live two hours meeting. away. Oh yeah, and, don't. And I can't drive, and they share a car, and you don't have to yeah. sit down to meet. I'm talking about online, whatever. Yeah. So our cell phones are so shoddy. Yeah. 
It's just harder. Yeah, it's just harder. Mm-hmm. And we can, but it's difficult. It is difficult. You know, moms have a young family that's part of the ordeal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cause yep. <laughs> you're going to have to yep. struggle with the young ones. So, yeah. Um, no, I, I try to figure out what's really taking place, how to help yeah. you, basically, how yeah. all of us can make your life more fulfilled in the Lord. Mm-hmm. In this, um, and I don't know life. if it's yeah. even a hang-up, like, religiously, where I want to see That's what I'm fruit. thinking. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. When Guy Dalloy said the self getting the way, I understand that. I want to understand that. In this, so because at a time, I was pretty isolated from others. And uh, my one of the great struggle is not willing to introspectively be rest mm. with myself, not content being alone. So, you know, so, and God has literally stuck me in a little department, severed all my relationships, and uh, just there, just doing nothing. I'm not even work. The struggle. In that same time, God told me not to read the Bible, by the way. So, because he just told me the way I read the Bible, or rather man had told me to read the, mm-hmm. how to read the Bible, was totally wrong. Mm-hmm. Not wrong. It's not getting the point. Yeah. And that's, yeah. So, yeah, so it's a lot of distortion. Mm-hmm. He wanted to teach me the Bible in you. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. So it's a literally place. I can't have the Bible. Used to be a source, you know, anytime I open it up, it's like, oh yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> already told me about the Bible, so I'm not. Um, but you see, religion of people want to be your spiritual guide and so quick want to fill the void as long as you have spiritual appetites. They think that everything should be helpful for you. And I quickly learned that is not the case. So. <laughs> The, the, the key is to discipline my soul. Now let me ask a further question before we talk about this, what it mean honor, because that's a huge subject. Mm-hmm. What it mean to honor now? Mm. What it mean to honor? Because it's like, it, what it mean to have a faith? It carries so much yeah. connotations, right? <laughs> so, you know, so we can't slide that word, okay, I don't feel about honoring God. For you, you don't feel on God. God said, actually, that is pretty honorable to me. <laughs> because I want your soul to die. <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> you're struggling. You, your word really came to me. It's, it's the fear of the Lord bring you conviction. Mm. So you're being convicted <laughs> of your sinful nature. Mm-hmm. And God wants to deal with your sinful nature. So, I mean, tell me the best job can be done to a human being. So. <laughs> The crucifixion is the sinful nature, or the old self. It's a self of self get away. The so crucifixion is was always painful. Mm-hmm. It's never supposed to be a happy game, a happy moment. It was never cheesy, sweet. You know? so, I mean, it's not something you want to talk about without tears, <laughs> a broken heart. Yeah. So, but if Christians said that is something not supposed to be there, something alien to our spiritual experiences, you know. So, I don't think so. I just don't think so. I think that's the most honorable thing, most beautiful thing, most necessary thing can happen to a human soul, that it died to its own tendencies, its own temperament. And in perspective, it's, it's unrest. It's the reason why we unrest. And there's a source for that. It's as a lesson to Daryl Prince of the, 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 the cross. <laughs> you mean? <mix. Yeah. laughs> we were talking about that. Is that too. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. We're going to talk about that. Is that right? When he talked about the radical, you know, he just, uh, I remember he talked about it, but I didn't register today because recently I've been talking about it. Paul the thorn, the root of the thorn, you know? But he was talking about the prophet, the uh, picture. I like his teaching more and more. So the worldwide. He's 70 years old at the time the teaching happened. So he knows what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about if you can, he was talking about the review his ministry to people. In the beginning, cast demons out, deal with the people, the problem, you know. So they suddenly recognize that's only surface level. Mm-hmm. They're like leaves, you know. So yeah. they said, oh, really, the problem is. People refuse to 
were to look at themselves, mm-hmm. to die to themselves, I use the three word called um, ambition, pride, and self love. These are all biblical words. So, so the struggles of human nature is, you know, John talked about the pride of this life, right? So, uh, basically, he said, you can find all kinds of things that <laughs> pertain to the things of the flesh. Resisting the cross, the work of the cross. His ambition would want to be somebody that we're not supposed to be. In places, in situations, we don't have a role on the sea. On the, we're not supposed to, you have an opinion sometimes. So, mm-hmm. does that make sense to you? Yeah. you know, so, for example, somebody said, What is your opinion about the, the policy of the Republican Party, the Democratic Party? I said, well, I know nothing about it. I mean, so, <laughs> I mean, uh, and then people said, what do you think? Why you don't know that? What do you care about what they're saying? No, not really. I will tell you one thing, however. I study about the starting point of those parties. See, today what they're proposing is against whatever they start the party with. So, that's how I know that it's not a stable thing, right? So. The constitution today means for different minds, even the judge of the land, to the different land the, the way started, right? So, so are you going to tell me it's not changing? You know, so whether you like it or not, the people are changing. So mm-hmm. the people's attitude is changing. I'm generalizing the solution. Yeah. So, yeah. so today's your idea about the faith, honor, love, understanding. Is in a shaking moment, mm-hmm. and the shaking of it is a good thing for me. I mean, to my observation, mm-hmm. it should be shaken. Mm-hmm. Am I? So the things sustain you, so you said getting in the way or you know, like a doom, like a ceiling, am I? You need under. Is you want to be mean there, be fortified or be shaken up as you get built something from one up. So you want your children to live on this structure or you want them to rebuild something with you you lay a good foundation in their life that's a perception thing so my perception the shaking and the reconstruction isn't is 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 a very beautiful process for sure you're going to feel inadequate for sure you're going to get upset rental or whatever that's the point you know so <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen, so, you know, so, I went through it, so I understand it's very disorienting, you know, we're humiliating, <laughs> so, I can't even think straight, <laughs> so, a word out of my mouth, I don't mean it, but it just came out anyway, so, <laughs> sure, I understand that, but that's a beautiful thing, well, let me tell you why. Beautiful. If you don't struggle with God, you don't walk with God, you don't even have that awareness. Mm-hmm. It's to go along. That's, that's who I am. Huh? You're supposed to promise. And this is why I'm doing what I do. And then, so you don't even think it's wrong about you or about the way you you carry yourself, whatever it is. So, I mean, that's what repentance would mean to get the roots. So, what are you talking the radical? The, you know, that's the branches. It's a recognize more and more. Oh, wow. The branches. It's not the root. The root is a new self and an old self. And the root is, are we willing to live in Christ to become the new man, as he proposed us to do? Or will hold on to the old self, refuse to to die, you know? The old self, the good, the bad, ugly, the most important part, the most painful part of die is not the bad part, the part of good about it. Noble part. The, the part feel with doing something right. The word called self righteousness am I? So yeah. But the goodness is from where? From your own efforts, your own imagination. That's a word terrifying to think about oh, I have been doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard part of us, we got to recognize, we are been doing that. Especially your product of some kind of religion, sorry, mm-hmm. religious experiences. 
it's very hard to understand Jesus Christ said, there's no good thing in me. That's not a humble statement. We often think this is being humble, being, you know, don't want to replace the Father's glory. He don't want to be somebody. He's corrupt God's Father, goodness. He wants to exalt his Father. I, I doubt that's why Jesus said that. That that Psalm Psalm sixteen, right? So started a wonderful place talking about the You not let me die, you know? You don't let your holy one see decay, the one anointed or set apart see decay. You know, so this immortal flesh is the whole essence of my life is is reserved for something else, you know, so then then continue said i want to pour libation for those who dishonor you in a sense you know so but those who are in the land they're like a precious stones you know like a sh precious to me you know so my the boundary line for me has a falling in pleasant places i glorious as the ones who are shining in the land basically the precious stones you know so Shiny is not today. We think it's shiny. What it is it means a tribal. Am I every tribe have their land? You know, so each tribe has their precious stones. That's my understanding. A image right there is prophetically speaking. Then the glorious, and he is being the priest to wear that garment. When he wears a chest mm -hmm. or ephod, mm -hmm. he's not merely wear for decoration. He was wearing the the life of all yeah. the tribes. Am I in the land? You know, acting like high priest said, I will not pour life patient because their sacrifice is, is rejected me being the high priest. I only pour the life patient with the one. God endeared mm -hmm. having me to carry on my chest and my the, the, my heart basically, yeah. right? So yeah. So that's a priestly garment. That's it being the inheritance. So the high priest be the inheritance, right? So Levi's inheritance of God, God is their inheritance. So for God is his inheritance of people that's uh, exemplified or personified in this uh, yeah priestly duty a priestly heart so is that make sense to you? that's why priestly heart of wisdom is a part of the deal you know so yeah is that making sense to you? you know so then because that God through his love give that burden to the son as the son said I want to be the libation for them. You know, I want to also pour out the libation in my life for them. So he acting as a, a propitiation or atonement, right? He was the sin offering. So then he offered them as a burnt offering as a high priest because he identified with them into regard. Um, I don't want to do teaching, but there's a double representation here. Why? When they are sinners, they want to cover their sin, right? Attune their sin, attune the covering, so mm -hmm. become the righteousness to attune. So after they be attuned, he want to present them as a more than newborn, as a equally sounds God, you know. So as a pride of possession, the pleasures are precious to God's side. That's the the priestly calling, right? When God called the Israelites out of the land of Egypt and he said, you will be my treasure possession, you know? So, you know, my, so, is that making sense to you? So he presented them as a, a glorious representation of sonship to us, something, right? So, yeah, to God. I don't want to talk about this too much, but it's representing a heart. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't then con conversely or compatibly, then how we <coughs> see this benefit? The cross carried out these two flows. One is a covering up or redeeming us from our sinful nature as a sinner, salvation, redemption story. He's a king's man redeemer, by the way, not just any redeemer. I can redeem a slave. You continue to be a slave, but we are more than redeemed as a, from a slavery. We are redeemed into 
sonship. So is that make sense to you? To be the treasures of God's heart. So is that make sense to you? That's more than a redemption. So there lies a second part. The the work is is a burnt offering because the things offering that light can only be willing offering called a burnt offering. So burn from it's a free will offering. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? I come to do thy will, David you know the Messianic song tell me this heart and I come to do thy will. I've been on the wild to you, you know so so you become a one obligated yourself. Choose yourself mm -hmm. to be said holy. Oftentimes Christianity is uh, I'm happy God saved me, now I can be what I want to be. Mm -hmm. So I'm just talking. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody had a vision. Andy had a vision yesterday actually about uh, a girl dancing on the mm -hmm. walls of the temple and fall down. I think that's represent the most likely is unscrupulous or in insincere Christianity through the ages. Mm -hmm. I think Christianity is somehow entertain our idea of what it means to be free. Mm -hmm. So so the idea of being free spirited, mm -hmm. you know. God set me free now, you know, so uh, he set us free so we can be like his son. That is a higher discipline. That is a, in a sense of being led captive, right? So not the slavery kind of thing. So, you know, but you want to tear for it, this one. You know? yeah. Is that what you can say? Yeah. That's called yeah. a yoke. Yeah. You know, so no more yeah. yoke with the devil, his agenda. Yeah. Now you yoke with the, the Lord, become a, a bond servant. You know, so. Yeah, I was going to say bond yeah. servant. Bond servant. Somebody. Yeah, so. Yeah. So that's honorable calling, honorable assignment. So. I don't know what you got trouble is really about. I think it has to do with the self, you know. So yeah. Not surprised. Not surprised. <laughs> you just tell me. You told me. Okay, yourself in the led in the way. So, so so you told me. So mm -hmm. so the death to self is a hard work. Mm -hmm. It's not a one time blow. Mm -hmm. He he can. He it's like different levels for you. In due time, will be bring to the surface. Mm -hmm. But eventually, he can touch the root. How do we function in that place? How did you function in that place? Oh, you... he had to recede you, rebuild you. It's his work. His goodness imputed to you. And then, then you found the freedom. What I have you is a Christian continue to replace this new way of life with other expressions, freedom or activities. So, uh, you know, actually in foundation teaching in the day, I might write that. Repentance from dead works. Repentance is were conditioned in this light or connoted, contextualized. But often the repentance, oh, I know what repentance is. We don't attach it to the to the to the what the book has told you, what dead works are. Hebrews the book defined dead work work clearly what the dead works is. Dead works in God's side is everything leads to spiritual death. So our idea is that dead works because we brought with the Protestant or Catholic traditions with dead work often to do with the the sinful deeds of a sinful man attached to sin. Okay, is that making sense? So, which is true? It definitely attached to sin because sin entered the world and the world death began to permit. You know, so result. Everybody died. All Christians died. Corrupted, you see. The word decay. You will not see your Holy One corrupt. You will not see your Holy One dead. It's the same thing, basically. So, you dead, you corrupt. <laughs> so, life, the vitality of life, not going to stay with you. By the way, what life is? Life is a, it's a state being only. On the process of operation. Or operation. I mean, you don't. Do you think Adam and you don't need food? That's my point. <laughs> internal life? Now they have internal life. Do you don't? They don't eat the food? Or they eat the food? 
God said, oh, this is good for eating. You know, so, I mean, so oftentimes we think eternal life, and there's no food. If an angel needs the food, <laughs> so, <laughs> they eat the angel the food, all right? So, so where angels' eternal life came from? Interesting. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to challenge you a little bit. A lot of Christian thinking is a fairy tale thinking. It's not in the Bible, at least. I will prove the case to you, you know, so. I'm sorry, just taking, you know, so. I mean, Elijah eat whose food? <laughs> so, so to himself. A real and brain food food. Angels food to him, right, so. I don't know the same thing. Yeah. So there are food, basically, you know, so is that physical food? I don't know. So that's the point is there is a food. Now, what does spiritual man need the food? I have a question. Spiritual man need the spiritual food. And they are not just like a, we eating natural food. We don't get one meal thing when it is mature, right? So, I'm sorry. You're daily processing. So you need the daily particulate. Amen, hallelujah. And, and then the, do you f take a food just back there and say, hey, I got it in my stomach? <laughs> or you subject the process of partaking is the only start of the process of absorption for nutrition. Thinking about it. Your wrestling in life, most likely, is because you have been attending this Christianity continue to baby feed you rather than teach you how to absorb put in practice the thing you learn mm -hmm. I think recently I had a discussion with Justin and some of the, to agree with the truth wholeheartedly is still so far away from yes. putting the truth in practice mm -hmm. even the desire to do it yes. is a huge well, Christianity has a so exciting one July, I don't know that word, yeah. to get your soul is excited. My, that is some truth. Yeah. That is so glorious. God going to do that, make that happen for me? And we forgot. Well, there's a total another process. Partaking pure spiritual milk. You agree with this is a lofty concept, but you start with uh, being a seed, being a newborn baby. Mm -hmm. So that the gospel is glorious. The gospel is a heaven heaven sense. And that's, uh, the gospel let you see visions of God, visions of future, visions of eternity. But the start with you become the field from the sea to grow up. That's was Peter's promise. And not anywhere, Jesus teaches the same thing. Look at the disciples, okay, three and a half years with him. How much they experienced? Mm -hmm. A lot of science wonders, my everyday teaching, how they enter into the spiritual life. Mm -hmm. She said that right now, I teach you, it's because of all way your mind, <laughs> <laughs> all your talk. But the day going to come, mm -hmm. the spirit going to do something to you. The word conviction came to it. He said, uh, I'm going to convince you three things. Righteousness. The second is what? You tell me. I'm trying to clear you a little bit. The spirit has to be worse, okay? I mean, in terms of commission. Commission means more than revelation, right? Do, 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 do you understand the word convinced and convicted? The different. Mm -hmm. Explain that. I mean, you can if you can. So. Convincing yeah. versus conviction? Yeah, convicted. I mean, I think conviction has a an action of obedience attached to it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Lead action, lead mm -hmm. to action. Lead to yield to some hard discipline mm -hmm. where the, what you convinced, actualized. Mm -hmm. Because Christians are very excited, that we're excited to be convinced. That's true, you know? Mm -hmm. We sound translate that. Oh, that's true. But I'm not there. <laughs> I need to do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, does that make sense here? You see a uh, fruits of a some of the comments. That's so good. That's wonderful. 
So commission is pretty cut with despair, right? So, so, <laughs> and total humiliation with this man-made presumptuous uh, exam. I'm just going to stall this exam in this. Uh, but it started there. You cannot be excited about it. And also, there's a gap between the two. Jesus quite said that, you know, he saw the seed and the pair of the sword of the seed. What he said? Received his excitement, am I? But did not make the fruit, made the made, made the seed fruitful, you know. So it's a hard work. It's not the beginning excitement. That's what it's saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, again, I'm not trying to ridicule everybody because I think it's a product, a certain superficial or short carpet energy. We said excited about the things that God is doing revival, man. Mm -hmm. A few months ago, some years ago, there was this uh, university. Uh, people just showed up, get the touch of. I don't sure yeah. though. Yeah. And the other revivals, recent days, you know, people talking about the revival. Where are they? Mm -hmm. But everybody said, God gonna do something, you know, this is gonna be something, you know. And the professors, am I this Bible schools, great ministries, you know, so I'm not trying to be hard on Christianity, okay? But where are they? Why they are impressed by those things? Because the soul's impressed. Yes, there you go. <laughs> That's a fake Christianity there. In the word, fake Christianity. Because they were interested to deal with fundamentally the sinfulness of the sinful nature in man. Never want a man to truly die. It's always a pure to emotions. Be the superficiality of the so called I got God, I got some feeling. I'm not saying it's bad, okay? I'm saying that. Those people need to lead to further depth in God. Lay a good foundation, start a discipleship, rather go every day, go there, just have a worship time, have a uh, weeping time, joyful time, whatever time they got. Because all those are still in the realm of the soul. The soul was never fully dealt with. And nobody tell you actually you need to deal with your soul. It's uh, like... Uh, are you pouring cold water into some serious fire? <laughs> uh, and demons cast out, people are healed, that for sure. But Jesus never trusted himself to those flock, am I? Did he? How many invested as disciples? Instead of follow me. Are those people going to follow him? Yeah. And we translate this quickly to religious formations. Idolatry of religion, basically. Idolatry of ministries. No, it, it's, it's a word of personal choice. I like it. I like their Prince teaching, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's very articulate. But it has a grace to have a big audiences, which I don't have. But I do have a grace to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> to those women ones, we need to change. The inner work is painful. You know, actually, good for you guys to follow the young man's teaching spiritual progress. I do. You do? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's so good. So good, right? Yeah, so, yeah. you see, they lay a good foundation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Th that foundation lays are always never going to be a advertised by solace ministry anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's beautiful God gives mm -hmm. to me, you know, so 
I encountered a lot of through Christianity, different things, you know, so myself even being used for some, but I'm never impressed by those things. Because the foundation was laid in me, I can read the spirit. Mm-hmm. I can read the heart. Mm-hmm. Not, not try to read people said I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can touch God's pulse in things. Mm-hmm. I can hear the shepherd voice in the middle of all things. In, is that because in, I will tell you miracles, but miracles, oh God kept me from the wrong things, you know? He's supernaturally to win. So I don't to succeed or be part of those things, you know? So it's amazing to give you that kind of discernment. I'm walking in ministry, what ministries are always welcome in different circles in the beginning. And kill, God begin to show something. I was totally reserved, or sometimes had to walk away. So it's his divine keeping, you know. So in the beginning, I said, "Why can't you do this? Why not the Why not? Why walk away? Why why? Speak somebody? <laughs> why well, can't do it? Well, the point is that God don't want to do those things. He want that to die. Then tennis is an outlet. That's solid suppression to Zori die. Amen. Hallelujah. He wanted to rebuild yourself with you, the rebuilding yourself. One of everything around you, especially relation to rebuild. Especially relationship. If you don't carry the old mode, default, and old preferences into relationships. Amen. Hallelujah. The most familiar relation is the most important relation in the trial of souls. Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine what Tim and Rachel went through? You guys are going to went through it. Mm-hmm. I mean, inevitable because Tim and Rachel, then we can't consider our children than ourselves. Mm-hmm. It'll go. Are we done there? I hope we do well. You're going to turn your heart back. This a war. Then why are not there? What do you think the Christianity, why it come in and go have claim on your guys sometimes or other people's lives? I mean, like open door policy, I mean, like a, I don't know, maybe a wrong expression. Just basically, they have claim on your soul. They have claim, have a role in your life, a certain Christianity. Why do you feel obligated to respond in certain ways? It's like a patient come to the hospital, you just a few had to be a nurse for it, had to be a doctor for it. You you tell me the man who walk out of the hospital is he dead? <laughs> or he's to fix it up? Go on his own life. Well that's the church angle we have most likely. If people come in, they go out, they fix stuff, they go on their own life. Then come back again, we fix them again, they go back again. But who has really wanted to die? Who has feel in that hospital that it's a glory thing to tell the people the good way you are to bury yourself? <laughs> nobody, nobody will think that is a good message. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> So, what is our good news then? <laughs> Psalm 16 said the good news, right? <laughs> Peter preached on the day of Pentecost, that's good news, you know? <laughs> you can die to death, that re- resurrection, you know? So, and until you die, you cannot <laughs> have a resurrection life. So, what are we are doing? We try to fix people up, right? To be the bad doctor, you know? You gotta have a doctor degree, by the way. <laughs> Whoa, that emergency room needs a nurse, you know, so just jump to it. I've been free with my own people, so yeah. Oh, but, <laughs> sorry, you are my own people. I talk to you straightforward. <laughs> well, hold on a minute. I can help many people, want to heal them, but my job, my real job in the Lord, is not to fix them up. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. If perchance 
while interacting with people of the world, I will bring a true disciple of the Lord, go through the process of death to self, you know, life in Christ. Yeah. I got to discern that, whether they want it or not. <laughs> I mean, and you as a parent, or friends, or any contest relationship in life, you need to let it go. Not that I let it go in a way that I don't be a mother, father. But I'm mother, don't mix that with Jesus' teaching, and Jesus' operation. It's a kingdom business. Don't easily love the God that. If you're a parent generation of Christianity or the thick Christianity out there said that's your job. Don't volunteer for it. You need to walk away from it. No. No. You're not my prophet. You're not my teacher. You're not my leader. Because that's what Jesus that's never Jesus' business. You know, so Jesus is a bad business said, I want a man to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if they refuse to die, I'm not gonna build a platform for them to flash around. So you know so <laughs> and I'm just talking, so. Now, if we have that tendency in us, give me some platform, give me some outlet, give me do this, do that. Now, the false leadership was saying, yeah, that's wonderful, finally, finally come on to the program, okay? <laughs> so, finally, we have a rule for you. That's the invitation given to me. Some amazing opportunities given to me. But God, by his invention, he said, no, no, no. He, he shut it off flat. Or sometimes maybe warm in the night, you know, so. Because I was, uh, these days, I don't want to do my own thing anymore. I always ask God, God, is this you? Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not you, shut it down, you know, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. and he will do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just grateful for his shut down door. I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, have you seen the certain shape of goats? Whatever, <laughs> get the horn. They don't like it. Just goat. Yeah. Okay. They spun wrong. You know. You try to help him. Don't want to be helped. You know. Mm -hmm. So that's what's me. And finally, I have to be subdued. Through disappointment, I disappoint to my soul, but I have no idea God actually is uh, is all pretty in my inner man. Saying, <laughs> well, why even think you want that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why you want that to begin with? Who told you to want that? Who told you to want that? Who told you that's your life, by the way? <laughs> Who told you, by the way, that's my life for you? Nobody. You just use yourself. You just insert yourself there. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was like, oh yeah, I did that, you know. I, oh, sorry, I did that again. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so it was very difficult for five long years. And was even longer than that. Until I changed, I, I was able to walk out the sunship. I mean, prior to that, I have three years, this young believer. The sunship has come around. It take five years, solid year for me to just have nothing in the world. Talk about the isolation, loneliness. You go through that with yourself. I do have friendship. I'm beautiful friends, you know. I minister to people all over the world. <laughs> Converse to people. But the soul is never found behind. And you know, all those I conversed, eventually every one by one, I don't know, I definitely love the Lord to give to you. They're beautiful people, you know, so. But one by one, the Lord said, no, that's not for you. That's, no, no, not for you. <laughs> Open heaven, a circle, you know, mini circle. As a good people, God-given people, but God told me, no. The ideas of understanding and building God's people up is uh, obscured. Mm -hmm. Then eventually said, look, return. The message will return from the real. 
I'm sending a mountain. Let's see, big stairways, and then so he told me that is where Moses ascended, Abraham ascended, David ascended, and the, and the Virgin Snow, by the way. You know, nobody ever traveled this way before. And God said, "You going to with a, a small group of people? This is the way I made it for you before time began. Nobody walk on it, huh?" Mm -hmm. no? I don't want to walk on it. <laughs> you know, the safest way in my life, I'm I'm a world wise person in this regard, okay? I don't make any decision I have not make it. I like to learn from people, to observe what they <laughs> they did. You understand my point? Yeah, so yeah. That's why I read the history. That's how I've exhausted all the books on my you know, read, read into human thoughts. I've thought, if somebody figured out, I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> but so sorry. You get my point? And that's, that's before I know the Lord. So I was a quick learner. I want to learn. I want to follow. That's literally built in me. I, I don't understand Western mind. Uh, that's not me, you know. So I was talking the other day, talking to Elijah, actually, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Everyone I work under so happy to have me under them. I used to work, uh, many people coming to put on me on the wings. Everybody would put on the wings. Competing to put me on, to be my <laughs> patron. patron. <laughs> so, I would all the time have at least three people pro provide me a beautiful future. So, all the time. They want me involved in my life until I become a Christian. Even I already did a Christian people want to still take a minute, don't tell me how but that's my early experiences. Until God told me a different story. Yeah. I mean and then told me this is your lot. You know, there's no one this, this is what I call you to do. I mean, you you are my witness, the spirit, right? You guys, mm -hmm. so. I'm not doing a good job. I'm still struggling, so, yeah. But I'm happy that you guys has been a beautiful support. And your appreciation, knowing that I'm not trying to be myself, be <laughs> made my own man, it's a huge encouragement for me, so. But this way is very narrow. It's very difficult. It requires a cost. To let it go, think will be popular, will be understood easily by especially certain the, the Christianity has seized the heart of so and um, a vision of many today. You are remnant of a remnant. You will be rejected. You will be maligned. Hopefully, you not know, be quickly persecuted. Mm. But in most persecuted, it's inevitable. Spiritual person is inevitable. It's a part of what is the deal. And you should not think it. You are being waiting mm. or ineffective. You should think. I'll try to be witty mentality. Now somebody reject me. I'm the happy body. <laughs> so, no, I'm not. Sure. <laughs> I don't think that's right. So my point is, you should not hold a bitter heart mm. and unforgiveness to process your child in your culture. You do something new. You spare her something. Somebody spare her thing. Don't say others oh, said, hey, that's abrupt, that's new, that's unsettling. That's it's obviously going to cost them to feel like that. But at the same time, I cannot stop, move forward. I can not to yield to her opinion and say, hey, you know, nobody hold him accountable, nobody lead him. Oh. Because I settled when God called me to charge something, to to make head with something. That's a danger. That is a something I have to overcome. The wrestle said, okay, that's what he called me to be, Lord. And people with a firm finger, I understand that. I'm not naive. <laughs> that's what they're going to do. The first thing they're going to do is say, why you don't hold your car anymore? Why, why you <laughs> no one lead you? But that's my lot. A prophet in the wilderness, 
Jesus came as a son, pouring the Gentile world. And Peter is not his leader, right? Peter is his power leader. I'm just talking. He's charting in course. But that's our lot. Unfortunately, you want to be my disciple? <laughs> <laughs> You're not facing the common stock, I tell you. And then you need to lay a new foundation for your life to move about the opinions and self-invited entanglement and circulations. Mm -hmm. your, your usage and building gun were not on the old outlet. Once again, mm -hmm. and then you must find new investment the singular investment, ask God, we tell you to bless you. I will tell you. If you want chosen, he will tell you as well. Well, team has learned the lesson. Noah is not for him to talk and teach him, right? You, you, you remember his testimony? You guys remember his testimony? Yeah. Okay, so. It was a painful, hard, ragging testimony, right? So, But really? T team is not teaching Noah, leading Noah. Hmm. Really? <laughs> Am I interfering? <laughs> oh, we were together. So why that is conditioned in his mind as if that is the case? For the moment, I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. there so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't think with team's problem. That's not team's problem. That's a Christianity he had is a problem that he become a. I don't know the product yeah. or whatever the outcome yeah. of it, you know. So yeah. But interesting. Is that supposed to be the case? That you want someone else from the Holy Christ to be your spiritual counsel for your son, for your daughter? Unless your Christianity is in the false one. <laughs> or the your idea of Christianity is a don't include others in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what you guys think. If I was some, as somebody <coughs> want to be their spiritual father or mother or guide or whatever, so that is the greatest honor for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna compete because my stupid affections, my mm -hmm. insecure with mm -hmm. my boy or girl. That is a mm -hmm. nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will get over that real quick. Mm -hmm. But certain people can't, and to, uh, to their loss. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they never know what it means to be a spiritual father for others either. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can they be a, a a culture builder or culture? I don't know the word, you know. So, for for the generation, mm -hmm. you just give it up, am right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> amen. By default, they give up, am right? So yeah, there's certain way all this and getting down. <laughs> You can't We're start with it. I'm this. sorry. We've been talking about this today. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Start with your own. Yeah. Or you deal with your relationship in the spirit. <laughs> and then, hallelujah. Yeah. Practice. Down to earth. Mm -hmm. Put it in practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm saying you and the, you know, Justin is very wise in this regard. Better than you. Had your mouth on the road. Mature than you as well. You're gifted. <laughs> <laughs> you were tender hearted, but the wisdom is not sustained as supported, always manifest by gifts or understanding or agreement. Mm -hmm. It was a decision. Decision. And then, hallelujah. Okay. How you make decisions? Yes. How you make decisions? We're speaking what wisdom we operate under, or rather, what counsel we operate under. Mm -hmm. I decided to have a lunch with somebody. Is that really a simple decision? Depends on how you perceive it. It's always cans or random, doesn't matter. Or always the fly in the moment. The operas in most of your relations is never sustained by a principle. Me? Hallelujah. I, I, I don't have lunches with anybody. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't like to have lunch with anybody. It's not going to happen. Because life 
God allow me to walk in, it's not going to happen like that. Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't want to. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that making sense to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, then it's very easy for me to condition or use my lunch time to be a time for discipleship, fellowship, all this. Okay. Does that make sense mm -hmm. to you? So, yeah. I'm just telling you. Did I design it? Did I plan for it? And I must have my lunch to be this. <laughs> Well, that's the power of God's grace and the order. Mm -hmm. The power of relationships. Mm -hmm. That's why I allow, don't allow certain people to be addicted to your whole relationship. You get the things wrong order. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to tell you how to do relation. You don't tell me how to do relationship unless I agree to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> unless I want to learn something from you. So, <laughs> unless you're sent by God to teach me something. Mm -hmm. And that's for a special purpose. Mm -hmm. If you don't, just insert yourself in the hair said, I don't have a, a see and discernment. I'm not supposed to respond to that. Are you, some, you are you from Mars? <laughs> 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 so, so, so. <laughs> I carry a sad expectations. <laughs> Want to be a Martian? No, I'm a Earth. <laughs> okay, so, so. <laughs> you want to live on Earth? Maybe I'll show you something. If you don't say, hey, I'm going to have my Martian life, the earth is going on forever. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. I don't want to spend time with you. I am a, a citizen of heaven. I'm a son of God. I'm a teacher of a man's culture. You don't like that? You don't receive that? So we are done. <laughs> I'm going to decide how this is God's culture. You don't even think I can <laughs> leave it out or want to leave it out. At least sincerely desire to leave it out. So what command do we have in life? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have my parents to say that to me. <laughs> not mention you. So, <laughs> I'm not going to have my children to think that attitude is okay for me on long term. Right? So, <laughs> not, not your children. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's not hard. It's just need to, to be left as <laughs> But they're not going to dig to me how I treat them. And then, they must learn. Somebody may be strangely different, but he carries some cause, carries some yeah. culture. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm curious about it, you know, so I'm happy to fulfill your curiosity. But it doesn't matter. It's really not. Nice. In the same old, same old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not going to go out fishing with you. I'm going to go out fishing with this one. <laughs> Kill <Kayla. laughs> so, Not you. <laughs> You'll waste my time. Get that word clear. That's a sword. You must carry. In your own heart. You must support the church of that. Hallelujah. My disciple must celebrate that. I mean, must welcome that. A sword going to cut everybody. I mean, hallelujah. I'm just not trying to be hard on you guys. So, but therefore, you can see the severing of religious spirit and the family spirit. Yeah. He said, I'm over that. <laughs> Where did your soul struggle really came from? Still learn to overcome that. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't try to speak it down to you guys, okay? So, now, how fellowship works? Fellowship works, goes beyond gifts. Fellowship works in relationships. Mm -hmm. Let's just see this, that, okay? I want you guys to think about it. Have you had a a friend or somewhere you can talk all day long if you want to but sometimes you don't want to tell anything you sit down there sip a wine have a coffee and you don't talk anything to fully understand you i hope you have have that time with your children with your husband mm -hmm. and friends my point is that for you which time is more fruitful? 
Where is there a difference? That depends on how you perceive your relations and, and conversational fellowship how to carry it out. Hallelujah. Real trust is a silent trust. God trusts us. That means all we tell us what to do. He's he's a trust. I know you can do that. I know you can feel that. I know you will do things I like. I know you're not gonna do things I ask on my character, ask my ways. You know what to do. I don't need to tell you everything. You're mature enough. You you settle enough. Your heart is always one with me. You, not that you're on your own. You can always help me in this. Uh, but we don't need to talk for everything. As if that is a show of intimacy. Trust somebody. Trust your children like that. See the difference. Because I tell you, a young soul, a young heart wants to be trusted. Amen. We never live under trust. We don't have me the power of trust. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to because of your frequentness of your emotions. Use the word frequentness. Because, okay. Terrible word, I'm sorry. That was a dance, you know, the quicker frequencies, right? So, to decide my relation with you. Do you want me to do that? Do you want me to do that with you? But you will think I need to do that. <laughs> oh, if I don't do that, something wrong about our relationship. I hope you get over something. <laughs> you don't want a relation with your husband, someone dear to you, truly knows you, to do a relation based on. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Especially your children. Yeah. That's a bad inference. Yeah. If your parents don't do that with you, we all that something to be shut down, right? Yeah. I'm not saying we shut them out in life. I'm not talking. I mean, that we engaging yeah. things, that door, that allowance for our soul to fluctuate with that. Think that's how religion get in, work it out. It's terribly wrong. It's wrong. It's, it's, it's wrong. I mean, back and forth, up and down. There's no stability. You have to agree with me on this moment. No, I don't. I mean, not, so what? I mean, you want to throw a tiger there? Okay. So, do it. So let me see what's going on. I'm not saying that bad. I'm just, you're a child now. So you're acting like a child. You're supposed to be an adult, man. So, so anyone think that is a whole deeper relation supposed to be developed? He's, he's in the fantasy world. <laughs> So are you. You want to have a solid relation with uh, your children, with others. Then don't base on that dictation. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. But build something solid. Mm. That's part of a like man, adjusting. They're solid. Mm. They don't easily make a decision. Mm -hmm. yes. They make decision, however, they stick with it. Amen, hallelujah. I can't even imagine that I put up with you guys all the <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys need to come to them to appreciate that of them. Mm -hmm. Not put them always on their hey, you guys, you don't understand me, you don't do my <laughs> And I don't feel guilty about that. Being a balance for you, being a help to you. Mm -hmm. Try to hold them together when you obviously try to spill it over. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There are times you are solid. They may be fickle, whatever. In this, uh, the word is fickle, whatever. In this, uh. Well, then, then, hey, you know, I got this done. I, I got this done, you know. I, I think I got things through, you know. So can you drop your emotion, drop your... Let's not do relationship or come in the juggling, you know? Mm. I have this picture of, uh, I use this often, so but this moment I have this picture. Yeah, you see it. It's so great. What do you see? No, I'm saying. You don't see anything? Mm -mm. Okay, I saw basically. I have this, uh, some uh, flute you know, uh, in the ocean. 
one floor the pub of pub all the time. So this guy wanted to put all the thing under, and the fruit. Well, how about to get rid of the fruit? Then you don't have to do this <laughs> and blame yourself. <laughs> oh, we don't. Huh? This is no e no peaceful surface on the ocean. You know, so the whole problem pop up. Get rid the roots. Mm-hmm. And roots may be inside of our inner attitude, our thinking, but most likely, if it's transitioned, spilled over in relation, we need to get rid of the root cause of relationship become dysfunctional. Well, yes, it will come the bitterness, unforgiveness, and come to us to confess your shortcoming, to sins. So not just sorry. It's a such powerful thing. Yeah. Am I sorry? Yeah. No, I just had <clears throat> that happened to me is this that right? week. Is uh. Uh, I saw a behavior. It was more than a behavior. It was a root uh. Uh, of the way that I was raised to think. Mm. And um, I talked to Justin about it, and I said, I know I was raised in that exact way. Oh, no. In a um, t- the, that exact way you, you said it. I was raised in that. In, in, in drama. Yes. Like everything dramatized. Yeah, yes. everything becomes drama. Or your so. emotions are allowed to go from here to here to here to here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I just I said we gotta pray that off. I don't want anything to do with that. Yes. So I was Yes. I was thankful the Lord had showed that to me. Well, I, I watched it happen in my I mom. don't think others don't like, want to drag into the drama <laughs> is resisting you or don't love you. Mm-hmm. Actually why you acting in drama the whole thing together for you, that's true love. That's just appreciation. But the the, the things, there are drama, our parents, whatever lifestyle we get through, those people think that's how they get in loud. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the wrong exactly voice, right? Yeah. Exactly so it's right. the wrong counsel, mm-hmm. wrong lifestyle. So mm-hmm. mm-hmm. If the, some parents do that, well, they identify. Mm-hmm. The inference came from there. Yeah. And start with that, the emotional tie. Mm-hmm. I mean, if before a relation tie has to serve it. Because if you don't understand that destructive, yeah. In which relation with the steroid. Mm-hmm. In order to keep that relation healthy, you must not be dram- brought in the drama, am I right? So you know the story. Just so, yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, so don't throw yourself in the rain. Mm-hmm. When a ball is charged. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Making sense to you? Mm-hmm. Step out of it. So, yeah. The other thing I used to talk to Rachel in the early stage, she said, certain things. So basically certain people's charges like you've got to be part of this whatever they stirred up and I said, I said no. <laughs> if that is your real life, I'm stayed out of it. Mm-hmm. That's not means I don't care about you. Mm-hmm. But when you're ready to do peaceful life, mm-hmm. ordered life, I'm here. You know, you can turn to me for help. Mm-hmm. A certain way I never grew up. That's emotionally mature. Mm-hmm. Not mention spiritually mature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you have a relation in that? No. Can you relation with her? No. Do you hope your children will grow up healthy in your emotion, <laughs> relationship? Yes. You just can't sweat it out. Yes. You can be the smartest person in the world. Have beautiful arguments, splash around, you know, tell everybody they are wrong. So this work called gaslighting people, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Use yes, all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> The truth of the matter, you are the source of the problem. You just refuse to acknowledge it. And your heart knows it. <laughs> That's a struggle, I think, sometimes. But it's a spirit. And it's not spirit as you think. It's for sure to demolish it. But at the you got, it's easy to shut the door. Let me come back to Rachel's story and say, you know, just like uh, I've said to Rachel, Rachel, if uh, certain people have this hope, and I a lot of dust in it, <coughs> as I want the home to clean. And right now, aware of the star, you know, <laughs> and dust fly everywhere. <laughs> and then nobody can leave their brains were good, everybody agitated, everybody said, oh, do something with this dust, you know, so, <laughs> oh, let's clean up, let's do something about it, you know, so. And you have the dust bag, <laughs> the broom museum. You got the perfect solution to clean dust. Why do you do something about it? Who got the dust problem? 
I got dust from you do. <laughs> but you got a serious problem to understand how dust is supposed to be cleaned. That's your real problem. And why you step at the dust to begin with? You still continue to step at the dust. I, I there's no solution for me, even with a blue man the uh, dustpan in my hand. And you want the dust? There you go. For certain people, Papa said, even said, "Don't you care about what we're going through? To stop the getting busy with the cleaning." Obviously, don't understand. His emotion world. The emotion is a stirring wind. This is the person refuse knowledge. He's a problem. The dust is not a problem. The stirring the dust is the problem. The dust can be cleansed if you let it settle. You find a certain people, if a dust is so difficult, the old generation, their life is never settled. <laughs> they refuse to settle, by the way. Wherever they go, things are stirred up, right? So, wherever they go, man. So, I mean, you lost the advantage, lost the credit. You don't have the room to tell them this is dust world. You know? So, there's nothing you can help here unless you want to settle. By the way, you got to appreciate I might have got the <laughs> dust back in my ass, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I can't help you. The only thing I can help is by staying out of it. Because if I get into it, it's, that's more sturdy, you know, it's more miserable. So, if a certain parent said, no, you're always supposed to have a dust life, you know, the stirring up life. Well, that depends on you, what you want to do with your life now. That depends on what you want your children to grow up with. In a dust world? I created that and I do not want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, am I? So, yeah. I did not want yeah. And you don't it's want me like... to fellowship with you or anyone of the spiritual stance or influence your life. Think they should step in your dust world. That's dishonorable. To think like that. That's could, could dishonorable. I'm, I like to be there to help you if I can, you know. But. If my participation only become part of the dust stirring game, mm -hmm. that's useless. Yeah, yeah. It's dishonored to God, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You should not project to me right. as your parents. I'm, your, I'm not your parents in that mm -hmm. regard. Mm -hmm. If I can be your parents, it's good parents, the peaceful parents, the parents are supporting you mm -hmm. to settle things down. I'm not going to end it myself in that conversation. That table is not my table. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I refuse to engage in domestic affairs, not because I don't want to engage in domestic affairs. That's terribly mistaken. It's because still ruled by dust. <laughs> sorry, so yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, you got, you my people, you understand where I came yeah. from. Right? So yeah. I'm not considered as a, a member can do something about it. Mm -hmm. Amen, hallelujah. Is that because of too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if you have a children, hopefully it will not continue to be the problem. People outside the family, people within the family, that that must be put in the right place in life. Amen. Hallelujah. Want to hear another story? Okay. Is how to build a garden. You want us to enjoy the garden and build. But you must, in your own garden, it's not a mess first. Mm -hmm. If your garden have weed, all kinds of things, do you, 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 <laughs> there's no order here. So, so that is inside of us. That's inside of us. We must have peace within. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Where it is. I want some solid fellowship. Maybe you don't need solid fellowship. <laughs> you, need, I mean, you need your soul to be settled. Yeah. To find the quietness in the mind, in the heart, and talk to God. Spend time in the seas, spend time to. I have a lot of things going on in my mind. It's everything going on in my life, right? So, but I spend a lot of time 
Be nothing. <laughs> so just thinking, <laughs> free. <laughs> or entertain myself sometimes. Read a book, you know, watch a movie, whatever. So, my watching, uh, uh, reading a book is not whist. It's not whist. It gives me time to relax. Give me time to withdraw from the things of dust brooding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be busy with anything. You can figure that out. It's the perfect time to come we can talk about it. The whole process, no. I, if I involved here for that process, I don't think I can help you. <laughs> I can at least really become a problem maker. So, <laughs> but um, in due time, you will come. And that time, I have a voice, by the way. And you will talk to me in different tenures because now you have the res respection introspection and retrospection to look at oh that's just happened to me <laughs> that's happened to my life we can have some solution that's how you offer also to any other you want to mentor so what disciple is about in the beginning discipleship is more likely about the watch as the soul and as it's going to hold you accountable how your soul be here that's not going to be always encouraging because the soul is a, a potent animal. Sorry, it's not a spirit. It's wrong everywhere. I want to get out of the fence. <laughs> so, is that making sense here? Yeah. It refused to be reined in. Mm. But it has to be a willing sacrifice. The rain in is only the first process. Eventually, God wants that thing to be transformed to be a shape. I willing to be led as a slumber. And silence. I'm not protesting anything. I'm not complaining. I'm not whining. I'm not fearful. I'm just, you know, okay. It's time for me to die. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Is that making sense to you? That's the first death. The second death to go. That is the end of Christ's death. The death of your old man, now you death into his death. His death is sacrificial death, in a way. It's a holy sacrifice. I come to do that will. I will to die, Father, for your cause. I want to identify his death, Paul said, so that his resurrection power can get to me. Is he another angel in the No, that's not what Paul said. He said, I want to have another life to be revealed in me. And that is a death Paul endured. That death is not because our sinful nature will be crucified. That death is, I want to suffer as Christ suffered. Amen? Hallelujah. It means it's not uh, a suffering because of sin or rebellion. It's out of obedience. Mm -hmm. And the conformity to God's will in Christ Jesus, in service and in, in our portion. Uh, it, this converts the gas sometimes, God in one us. That's beautiful. Yes. We need to parse out, however. God wanted to die. Part of us, maybe it's a sinful nature, compel us to die. Oh, you know, so mm -hmm. you feel dishonored now. For sure, that is. It will be the disorientated for our soul. If no one come with you, there's nothing wrong with you. Mm -hmm. But there also are the part in you, the glorious part, the willing part, the wonderful part. I want to die in Christ's death so that I can serve the God in honorable ways, in compatible to His holiness, to His righteousness, to be effective in His kingdom work. And that's play out. It's not one dimension. Because your dual reality is a play out because you dual personality I'm not the words, you know, so so and so and spirit. Yeah, so and spirit. So it's it's working together. Mm -hmm. But the concerting together and sometimes over balance a little bit, you know, so it's understandable. That's why disciples is it's like a shepherd in mm -hmm. process. And we have to watch over your soul for a while. Always, you know, someone watch over your soul, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Then learn discipline the spirit. 
every song he'd be displaying the father's way that this father am i he's a spirit right so, can we say that we it's not about the spiritual son being displayed as a father that's all pursuit of the contest am i am the pretext he went started that relationship he treated you like a a song and no displays pleasant and uh, <laughs> i mean I miss the gang. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what I do? Okay, I can't get that. <laughs> Only one a day. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's that's not because you done something wrong. That's because you're not familiar with the new capacity yet. And don't feel guilty about that if you misspoken, misstep, misprophesy. Let me see. There are certain people religious said, "Oh, you should never prophesy." Well, hopefully you are just born with a prophet. Okay, <laughs> so I use this either word after you is a prophet. <laughs> are you killing me? <laughs> That's a nonsense, of Christians. It's just kind of a foolishness. No, the gift is like anything else, like a child, like a language, like ability. You need to get acquainted with it. A timing fit. Oh, you got the dustpan. <laughs> oh, you got the broom. And humanity. Beyond yourself now. Is a word of corruption, confusion, all kind of problems. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna throw up and say, "Hey, let me clean up the world"? <laughs> or you beat God timing, beat God's way. Mm -hmm. The mini home. Which home you go to? The home won't the dust settle down. And treasure that you actually the one with the tool to claim the dust and that's the home you go to now congratulations man to you so i see you i want a home dust free homes mm -hmm. or dust working process to settle that dust down so amen hallelujah and god is doing that listen god is doing that Amen, hallelujah. For you to you to said, I have been doing things this way. Maybe it's time for others to try another way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not emotional driven, solution driven, mm -hmm. principle driven, mm -hmm. and, and long term relation driven. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. We then I hope I don't worse speak to you guys. I, I hope you're burning for yourself. You're not in any fault. You are a working process. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And you are beautiful in the spirit, in the heart, the witness. Let's pray against the orphan spirit, okay? okay. Well, you can interact with this thing, receive benefit from this from an orphan mind. Mm -hmm. You can't be a little girl crying. Oh, man. Yeah. You need to let your past be buried. That's right. Yeah. Leave for the new season and govern yourself differently as a bride, right? Sir, so, meant to be made ready. So, which you are, I know you guys long for that as a dream. And so, let it go all burden back to one, eh? cast your all burdens to, to the Lord, be answers for nothing. What? Something or nothing. Rejoice. For it's near you. When you become ashes, knowing that that's not a safe place to jump into opinion, judgment, or special decisions. Mm -hmm. My solution for myself when I'm ashes or take so pressure, I just step out and step back of course. The first thing I want to make sure is that I'm not in a whirlpool. I mean a whirlpool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not dragged. Or somebody tried to put a mountain on by me, another mountain on me. Okay, I'm not gonna honor that bird. <laughs> yeah. Until I feel on some self-hold place, if not the mountain top, I'm not gonna make decisions. I'm not even gonna make opinions. Amen? Hallelujah. 
because I make sure that I'm not doing things on compulsion, under pressure. Amen? Hallelujah. And, and, and the major reason I will win with God, my conscience will be clean at least. I make sure. The decision, you can hear God, God says so, that's it. Nobody can change it. Even myself, especially myself. Actually. Second the decision, God said, you figure it out, okay? <laughs> you you know what to do. You should know what better. Amen. Hallelujah. I food in my fridge. Somebody wants a dinner. I mean, am I going to say, that? tell me what food I should? <laughs> you go hungry? That's not going to happen to me. So, I mean, I'm fully capable to make a decision. And ask your preferences and make a good good judgment what a good meal look like. I will do it. I think you will, you will like the food. I will have a good time. And, and God will bless that time. So you need to learn to understand. There are sphere God wants you to. You're the steward. You are his representation. You are his uh, judge. There are things he said. No, that is under my dictation. Okay, that's my my job. You know, my decision made. My direction was given. So, mm -hmm. my directly given under. So, mm -hmm. yeah. There are things. Well, not my business, man. I don't go to the restaurant tell me how to cook. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I go there have the full menu <laughs> to choose and pay my bills. That's my freedom. You know. But I'm not going to tell the cook how to do this for my friends. <laughs> That's beyond me. That is unreasonable. The thing that every client in the, in the restaurant is supposed to tell the cook, the, the chef in the in the back end is how to cook his meal. That's you crazy. You got a menu there. <laughs> you like it, stay. You don't like it, get out there. So I'm joking with you. I know my boundary line. I know my limitations. You guys read powerful us. So, so, amen. Can I ask a really good yes, question? Yes. So in the in the place where it is our decision, mm -hmm. if we feel undecided, mm -hmm. does that mean that there's something out of alignment? Mm -hmm. Counsel. That's where counsel comes in. Because every decision there is a flow of relationships. Unless you're obligated, you have to make decision, you know, so I don't think any life is supposed to be like that. Mm. I don't make decisions just because I want to make decisions. I always make decisions because there's a confluence. I don't know the word even this came to me. Con Concord of things. I'm sorry. Uh, I have no idea the word yeah. that means. This came to me. Confluence. Like a things are forced together. Yeah. There's a natural landscape. You know, so there's, there's, a, there's a formation of things. Much like you chart a course for your boat, you need to go back to the harbor you, when you chart it out. But do you just don't care about the waves, don't care about the wind, don't care about the weather? But somebody tell you can never, you had to know everything you before you head out of the harbor, you got to figure it out how to get back. No, I don't. I mean, I go out there, I will see the weather, I will follow the waves, I will see the wind. My boat is fully capable of the handle it. I can make decision. Seems on the fly, but it's not on the fly, right? Now going back to where I came from, the harbor, I, when I headed out, I'm well equipped with the skill sets, with experiences, with the know-how to charter my boat. I don't be afraid. If I'm a seaman, well experienced, mm -hmm. so that every time I get to the harbor, I must study every wind, every weather, every wave, you know, or else I can't really make sure that I came back to the harbor. What a what terrible life is that? So better not be a seaman. So, so it's a life. You're not the under life. You're supposed to, <laughs> to manage life. Amen? That's why I'm calling the confluence. So in decision making, said I can already decide where to go. The wind stopped, and then something's get an engine going on. In the same nature. So in life, there are um, decisions. You will see. Okay, that decision maybe I don't have to call the shot, but I have to rely on other 
the home and to call the shot for it. Ogam means to win. Ogam can talk to us about decisions. Some major decisions I often go through a lot. Just talk to myself. Major decisions, okay? First, I come to hear God myself. Often, okay? So if I even hear God myself, I'm not going to rush the decision. I'm going to wait. Wait until you tell me what the proper time the situation called to happen. That's oftentimes take years even for things to happen. Sometimes. Major decisions should take years. You know? Then time now, is that the time right now? I want the confirmation now. Then he will send people to confirm it. It is time. It is time. So, okay. You know, so. And then you have to talk to people. I'm not a, a man in the island to make a decision, nobody gets impact. So, I don't know how to work it out how my decision is made and how to get in loop, get in agreement. And if the life of the director is seriously impacted by my decision, I need to let them prepare for it, you know, ahead of time. So there's a process for it. Some decisions, well, things call a surprise. Oh, am I capable of making that decision? Am I equipped to make a decision? Many things I don't know. Many things I'm not equipped. But I, I know somebody is able to learn to delegate. It makes sense to you, so yeah, I see your decision. So you just need to hear God. If God is not speaking to us, we need to dedicate to the experts for somebody to know about it. So if God said, it's your decision, I want you to hear me, I want you to make a decision. So we need to ask God to equip us to, to be able to decide. Those are three things. I don't see anything out of that category. If I made a decision once and go through the protocols, I call them protocols, am right? So now I'm, I'm a burden free. I'm a conscious free. God, the decision I didn't make based on my own opinion, my own impulses, my own say the right or wrong. It's eventually, in a sense, it's your decision through me. But it's my life. It's my decision. You know, so, it's, so you need to care of that. I'm not yield the heart come to him. I don't burden my decision as if everything's going to what happened tomorrow? What happened then? so I've done my decision, you know, so whatever happened after that is it's done. So you know I let it go. I mean I don't allow anybody to compel me, say oh you didn't make the right decision, da, 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 you know, so it's done. It's I made it the cut, you know, I made the decision. So it's the deal is over. I mean, the river comes across, so I don't go back saying, what if I did <laughs> No, I crossed. I made a decision. Let your yes be yes, let your no be no. And certain people just think, if what if, what if I did that, that, that? Well, that's useless. It's not wise to think life like that. Mm -hmm. Most people say, what if I did this to that? Well, how about you think about this ahead before you call the shot? <laughs> so, you really wreck your decision, then make sure that you don't do the same thing, you know? So, <laughs> make decisions you're going to regret all the time. Uh, let your yes be yes. So you eventually learn by a little bit of bad in the while. You learn, oh my, I'm going to make sure my decision is solid. Follow some of Got little protocol or prime protocols. I'm going to be foolish to show from the behave, driven by emotions or man's opinions all the time. I'm going to have God in the center and the front with my decisions. Mm. And then I'm going to make sure God is on my side when I make major decisions. Mm -hmm. I'm the major decisions. As I told you, to decision how to cook a dinner. That's my decision. I don't feel somebody said you just right. made a project that God is not happy about you. You always don't know God, so forget about your opinion. So, I mean is that making sense to you? Yeah. You know, so you can't follow me said you did, did you hear God say no you want to cook? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. It's my fridge, my dinner, my cooking so, what are you talking about? Why are you compel me to think like that? You may be weird. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. I do pray. Wrap out for us. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this time. You are faithful. I just want to thank you, Father, for your son, Emmanuel, and all the things that you taught him, that he was a willing heart, just open ears to listen through the hard times and the good times and the peace and the dust. <laughs> thank you, Father, for this brother. In Jesus' name. I hope Amen. I help you guys a little yeah. bit. So. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Did I? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Be encouraged. I am encouraged. Yes. Don't let anyone condemn your heart when your heart in God is in the right place. Even you made terrible mistakes, mm -hmm. but your heart is for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We all are a working process. So yeah. no therefore there's no condemnation for those uh, <laughs> that's right. Yes. Yeah. If condemnation comes, make sure that's that you not. know where it's yeah. from the Lord. <laughs> so Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's good. The other condition, God can we mm. unrestful, you know, he wanted to change, yes. whatever. Yes. It's a different story, you know, yes. so, yeah, so condemnation, conviction are so different. So yes. Study that, have some discussion yeah. with people on that. Yeah. Because everybody feels that battle. Yeah. And so some things very much has a spring, uh, spring Christians around. Mm. When they should be convicted, they think it's condemnation. Yeah. To give to the devil. Mm. as uh, the cause when they should be knowing that it's the devil doing the <laughs> condemnation and yeah. uh, they thought God can't read them you know therefore they get mm, confused so mm. can you pray for us yes. please sit down mm. thank you Jesus something going on mm. thank you Jesus Lord, I'm, I'm so thankful for mm. your love and your... Lay hands on. Okay. God can speak to you again. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Well, the reason all this happened to you, there's a great reason. The reason God wants you to purify your soul before yes. it gets be useful for yeah. Him. It's not unhappy of your pure desire to start to be used by Him. That's not the case at all. He wants to mature and gain credibility you, in your lord so your word matters yeah. thank you father yes amen your word the words of caliber the gift you inherit so that's mighty why he need be consolidated and yes. backed up by your character yes family yeah. wisdom yeah. that's what god tried to accomplish yeah. before that is too dangerous too potent a yeah. power yeah. a gift yeah is that making sense to you yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. go ahead Um, we want nothing more than to be fully reigned in by you. We want nothing more than to represent you well. I'm so, so thankful for the testing, the cry of our hearts, the cry of my heart, Lord, is to work with you and, and to be trusted by you. Mm. <laughs> Would you let that that soulish <laughs> that soulish thing that that holds that holds us back? Lord, I give it to you. Gladly give it to you. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy with our weakness, <laughs> and thank you for your long suffering.
Good, right? Okay, that's good. For settlement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In my inner man. I'm going to ask for the lies that the enemy has, has spoken and that I've accepted. Mm. That there's something wrong. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for knowing our heart. Thank you. Mm. May we be collectively as your body proven faithful yes. Amen. blessing sister uh, i will let you guys go ahead okay. and i'm gonna catch up we're soon here so. i don't know if i yeah. i've got a couple six